So, you want to become a game dev and use Unreal Engine like the big boys? Well, you came to the right place, because starting today, every week, I'll release a new part in my new series to take you from Zero to Hero in UE5. In today's video, we will lay the groundwork by installing the engine and making our first project. There are two ways to install the engine, each with pros and cons. You can install from the Epic Games Launcher, or you can install the engine by compiling it yourself from the source code. Downloading it from the Epic Store is faster and simpler, but you lose on two major features, those being C++ development and dedicated server networking. Right now I will show you how to download the engine from the Epic Store, but if you want to compile from source, go to the timestamp appearing now, or the chapter marker below. Now, assuming you already have the store installed, go to the tab that says Unreal Engine, click on it, next go to Library, and under Engine Versions, hit the plus icon. Next hit install, then in the pop-up choose a location and if you want a shortcut. Then you just need to wait for the install to finish depending on how fast your internet is this could take some time. Once it is installed just click the open button and wait for it to load. Since it will be your first time loading the engine it will take a while to compile shaders. Now if you don't plan on compiling from source you can go to the time on screen to go over making your first project, but if you are interested in compiling from source, just keep watching. Now first you'll need a GitHub account and an Epic account, which I will assume you have. Next you need to go to the link in the description to get to this page. Next under GitHub, click connect and go through the requirements. Now we can go to the GitHub page found in the description and go to releases, then download the latest file. Now you'll need to go to the Visual Studio website and install Visual Studio 2019 from the link below. Once the installer is installed, go to the Available tab, then click Visual Studio Community. Then in the pop-up, make sure Desktop Development with C++ and Game Development with C++ are selected. Then, go to the Individual Components tab and make sure Unreal Engine Installer is selected, then hit Install. It'll take a minute, so just pause the video and come back when it is done. Then you just need to sign in with a Microsoft account. Now, take the zip file you downloaded and extract it into a folder. Then in the folder, you want to run the setup.bat file, then run the generate project files.bat batch files, then open the solution file in Visual Studio. Now in Visual Studio, you want to set your configuration to development editor and right click on UE5, then press build and wait. This will take a lot of time and depends on the speed of your PC. Be prepared to wait a few hours or the better part of a day and it will take about 120 gigabytes of space. Now to start the engine, go to Engine Binaries Win64 then look for UnrealEditor.exe and open it. If you want, you can also right click and make a shortcut you can take to the desktop. It'll take a moment to open while it compiles the shaders for the engine to work correctly. This will take a few minutes and you know it is done when you get to the create project window. Now that we have the engine set up either by compiling it or by downloading it, we can make our first project. Go to games, then for this series, we will be using the third person template, so click it and make sure you have starter content on and are using Blueprint. This will allow you to have some basic content that you can freely use to make prototyping and game dev simpler. It will also allow you to follow along with me for the whole series as I will be using the starter content a lot. Next, you can give your project a name. For me, it will just be a touch project but you can name it whatever. Then you can also give it a file location of where you want the project to be saved. And again, pick anything you want. Then hit create, and all you need to do is wait for the engine 
to load and more shaders to compile. Now that we have your first project made, we have the foundation for next time where I will go over how to use the interface of Unreal, but that'll have to wait for next week, so please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when that video comes out. You should now see a playlist for this series, so if the other videos are already out when you're watching this, why not binge it now? I know you'll love it and learn a lot. But until next time, have a great day and bye for now.